Hello and welcome to Anno Domini 1257. Almost lost it there. But, um. Okay, so I've got a few updates to give you. We have been battling it out with the French and we eventually formed a truce. We're still, still at war with the Gaelic Kingdoms and for some reason we declared war against let me find the name uh, Ilkhanate and these guys are located all the way okay, so I was trying to bring up the map even though I'm not already on the map okay so these guys are located all the way down here these are the dudes in yellow so basically yeah in, in the Holy Lands basically they're a long way away and we've just declared war upon them and we're probably gonna go and fight them I've got no problem with that my only issue is that every time we leave someone always attacks my uh, my manor and my uh, village which is kind of annoying but uh, yeah we'll see So, I have a lot of money at the moment. I've got about 38,000. And I'm probably going to look up upgrading my gear when I get the chance. Now, I've pretty well maxed out everything I can in my mana. First, let me look at Bridlington. Uh, it's kind of bad here at the moment, mostly because I've been attacked non-stop you know the Gaelic kingdoms keep coming over and raiding me and I've been able to fight them off but it's been a bit of a pain but yeah it, it is hurting me at the moment I might have the grain to give him I did raid some places oh crap I didn't mean to cancel that Okay, so actually grabbing cattle is really easy because it just follows you around like that, that guy there. Ooh. I've been awarded a... I'm assuming it's a little village, but still. Thank you. So, so where is this? I feel it's in France. Yep. <laughs> a looted little town. Well, it's not bad. The thing is, oh, we're actually at peace with uh, France, so that all the French, so that's good. Okay, that is good. That means I should be able to get more money from taxes and so on. Okay, so I'm going to. Thing about Cal is that. Like I've just brought like 10 and even if I don't use them they'll continue to follow me around even when I was a prisoner they were following me around it's quite cool so always having cattle to follow you around in this game there doesn't appear to be any downsides to it at some point I'm probably just gonna gather a whole army like have hundreds following me around so if I get hungry I can slaughter one and just keep the meat and whenever I get a quest from say the Lord Marshal or you know, a town, I can just instantly hand in the quest. It's much better when they actually follow you around. Wait, what did he want? Oh, that's probably because I didn't bring him close enough. There we go. Okay, so before I continue on, I wasn't sure if I left this guy alone. Yeah, I did indeed. I probably should take all of them, to be honest. But let me, uh, let me have a look. So the last thing I can build for my village is to fortify the manor here. But it's going to cost 48,000, which I don't have enough for just yet. 
but I don't even know what fortifying it does. I could probably Google it, but I'll do that another time. Before I leave, let's have a quick look here. Current prosperity's gone down for a couple of reasons. Like, I've been attacked here a lot, and every time I'm attacked, I have to I go in here and I grab like an army from the marshal. But every time I do that, the prosperity drops right down. But everything is built here. We've got walls, we've got improved housing, we've got brothels, monasteries, wells, blacksmiths, butchery, oil press, linen shop, weapon, armor smiths, and so on. And yeah. Everything is going quite well. So I can't build anything else. I've still got 10k in there. That's to keep the upkeep for the uh, walls, so it's not a problem. I could take the money out and go and upgrade my manor at my other place. But uh, there's no need. And I did build that prisoner tower here as well. Like, the town is fully finished, as you can see down there. But uh, I don't have any prisoners just yet. Oh, I've got my own ransom broker! Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, so, pro tip, build a prison, a prison tower in your little manor. Because you can just upgrade your troops, and then you don't have to worry about going and finding... A ransom broker, which tends to be an issue for me. So I'm extremely happy about that. Let's check out my new town. I have a feeling I'm going to be called to uh, war here anyway. One thing I'd like to point out though is the woman. Actually, hang on. I've been putting points in agility just so I can get my riding up to level 4. Although I'm going to reset that for the moment. I'll keep it keep it uh, free because I might be able to get a book I'm not sure I haven't actually seen any book merchants yet but if I could get a book to increase any of my skills then I probably should do that so that's why I'm not wasting that point just yet but if I can get my riding skill up to 4 I can use any horse in the game as far as I'm aware so that's probably going to be a goal. We've got Crusaders here. I don't know what they're doing. Roving Robber Night Band. Let's have a quick look here. The cool thing is as well, building... If you build... If you build stuff. <laughs> if you build uh, houses and upgrades in your manners increases your right to rule so that is pretty useful one other thing I want to point out um, yeah they're, they're riding to war I need to catch up with them I don't know where he is though everyone's starting to get fairly happy with me I've got quite a few people above 20 and the marshals like above 50 which is pretty useful. Mostly right now I'm just jumping in to help people fight whenever I get a chance. Uh, I think that town is currently yeah looted so I can't do anything even if I go there. So I'm just gonna follow this guy. He appears to know where I'm guessing Lou's castle. Yeah here we go. So I'm just gonna hang on here because eventually I'm gonna be called to join him. That's how it works. Uh, one thing I should probably point out, the woman I've been courting, trying to, you know, who I want to end up marrying to cement an alliance. Like, her father doesn't approve yet, but when I last spoke to her, she is, she just got engaged to the Archbishop Money Face of Canterbury here. So, I'm kind of stuck at the moment, like, I've got to act fast, so I need to increase my relation with the other guy. And it's kind of a pain kind of a pain. I wonder if I've got time to hit Bristol. See, I know what's going to happen. We're going to leave here and we're going to head wherever it is uh, the enemy is in Middle East and then the Gaelic Kingdoms are going to raid my town. Or towns as the case is now. Just having a quick look at the weapons. I wouldn't mind a new weapon. Maybe uh, some sort of mace, I think. 
I don't use my light crossbow that much. My spear, I lost my lance as well in a battle, so I could do with replacing that. But it is useful. Quickly visit the tavern, see if there's a book merchant. Huh, you can tell them to get out of here. Oh, so did everyone else. Oh, wait, they went up top. <laughs> I made everyone run upstairs, okay. No butt merchant here. Let's quickly go to the castle, see if the, the uh, Prince Funny Hair is here. He is indeed. Uh, what? <laughs> By the way, I'm sure that my daughter Lady Isabella would be delighted were you to pay her a visit. She awaits you in her chambers. Okay. She's currently married, uh, engaged to someone else and he hasn't been too happy. Alright, well let me just, uh... Am I gonna, is there gonna be like armed guards there? Yeah, look, they're happy now. Well damn. So that is good. If I'm not, you know, like if I'm not going to be strung up by a father anymore, then that is good news. That's progress. But she's still engaged to the other geezer. This guy is a bit of a dick, to be honest, but. Um I know, having him on my side would be pretty useful. But... I don't get the option to ask about cementing an alliance, but I think what happens is I have to convince the woman first. So... Now that I've actually been given permission, that is good news. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. Last thing I want is to be too late and then she gets married to the other guy. But no, this is good, this is good, because this is gonna I'm gonna end up getting a strong ally. Now there are families that are bigger, but having the town of Bristol as an ally is gonna be pretty useful. Because the way I see it is that when I eventually... I it depends on how much territory we end up taking over, but when... I say when, eventually, you know, when I uh, aim to become king. London's probably going to be my sort of main place. And, you know, the rest of England's going to be the sort of you know, main area where I'm going to be based out of. So securing this sort of southern area is going to be very important to have, you know, have strong allies. So if I could make sure Bristol joins me when we rebel, it's just extremely important. I can't stress that enough because everyone will come from this direction. Chances are they'll cross the channel, so they'll probably be coming straight into me, but I'm just going to make sure I'm prepared and ready. But, uh... Let's go meet up with the rest of them. He still hasn't called me yet. But he will. Oh, it seems we're going to attack the Gaelic Kingdoms. There's one little city that keeps getting taken. exactly worked out what this is meant to be. 
where it lists all the different religions and numbers. I wonder if that's to do with how many people are fighting for that particular religion in, uh, religion in the Holy Lands. In fact, does it say here? This is something I'm going to have to go look up, but um, I am curious. I like the idea of taking a break from here and then just suiting up and helping, uh, you know, your your brothers over in the Holy Lands. That does sound like fun. You know, get your don your crusader gear and go fight. That would be cool. Anyway, we're probably going to go take this town. It's a fairly easy town to take, in all honesty. I've also noticed that even if an enemy lord has like 150 troops, I can still take him out with like 92 or 90 or less than that number. I've yet to come across a troop that's like really strong. The strongest people I've come across in this game have been like the lords themselves, but normally they tend to go down in one hit, they're actually pretty strong. Oh crap, we're gonna have a bit of a skirmish here. Fine with me though, fine with me. I'm waiting for one of my allies to get trapped though, because I can jump in to help him and increases my relation with everyone else. This isn't good because they're travelling across seas, so that means they're probably going to lay siege to my place soon and we've just let them pass. Don't, let me guess, there's a tournament going on. Nope. How strange. I haven't seen her yet. Yeah, my relation has gone up quite a lot with these people, so that's always good. I got money, may as well recruit people. Masterwork Siege Crossbow, it's very slow. Can't be used on horseback. I guess we just wait now. Going to attack somewhere. A lot of the time, they'll just go raid towns. Well, I think we're actually going to go lay siege. That's good news. I'm getting low on food, but I can always slaughter one of these animals. Lost count how many times I battled for this castle. But yeah, I'm thinking of changing my gear up soon. As soon as I got the money and I find the one I like, I'm gonna get like a, a tabard over chainmail like the other nobles do. I think that'll be pretty good. There's only like 130 defenders here, so this is going to be I would like to be involved, so I can get up here. Reach him. I'm gonna break his shield eventually. Oh god. I turned the 
Really? Oh, okay. Um, back up, back up. I've got this, guys. There we go. Charge! Go, go, go! I can't believe everyone stopped just to deal with him. This is cool, we have to actually break this down. Once the door's broken, I'll get them to stand back though, because they'll just stand in the doorway and no one gets killed. Kingdom of England's doing pretty well. But I have noticed other factions seem to be pretty vicious. Out the east. far down when you look at it. That is pretty cool. Anyway, another victory for us. I could probably ask for this town to be given to me, but I don't want to have to stock it with men just yet, so... Plus it's in enemy territory where they'll just recapture it fairly soon anyway. But I do run these mostly because every battle I get a bit of relation with every single person who was involved, which tends to be the entire faction. So it works out quite nicely, to be honest. And my relation has been going up with everyone, so... Everything's going quite well. Quite well indeed. If you happen to slaughter animals, only slaughter one at a time, because... You, what ends up happening, you know, I sort of slaughter like two of them, I get four pieces of beef and I only use like one and a half, so... The rest ends up going bad. So you've got to scale back on that. Anyway, we're taking this. I think the enemy is just laying waste to our territory. I'm probably going to get a message pop up soon saying someone's attacking my um, village, at which point I'm going to have to move. 
let's have a look. So this town's ready to, I can continue building there. What I'm probably going to do is go ahead and get a mana set up, although I'm not entirely sure what's the benefit. I imagine eventually once it's at like a, a thousand population you'll get a lot more money from it. Right now I think I put more money into it than I'm getting out of it, but that's not really a problem. Money's fairly easy to come by in this game. I'm not too worried. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and join me next time.